Hi, my name is Risty Lesperance. I am a park interpreter with the Regional District of Central Okanagan, and we are here today at Scenic Canyon Regional Park in Kelowna on the traditional unceded territory of the Okanagan Silks people. And we're here to take a closer look at winter birds in the Okanagan. So when it comes to birds, one of the questions we can ask is to migrate or not to migrate. Some birds, some birds migrate, some birds stay in the Okanagan for the winter, some birds pass through the Okanagan in the winter. For some birds, the Okanagan is their winter migration destination, such as the snowy owl, which lives up in northern Canada, and in the winter, the Okanagan or places in southern Canada are their migration destination as they fly south in search of prey. So what is it with birds? Why can't they all just come to a consensus about migration? And it helps to look at some of the reasons why birds migrate in the first place. And one of the driving needs, of course, is food. Birds need to eat. And in winter, it gets colder. Some food sources disappear. So some birds will fly to locations where they can expect to find a food source. Another need for migrating is the need to mate and breed and rear young and so bird species will often migrate to locations that are more remote or safe where mothers and their young will be safe from predators. And then other birds of course we see all winter long. They stay in the same locale, in the same habitat because they found a way to make sure that all their needs are met in one place all throughout the year. And of course it's not just birds that migrate, whales migrate, some butterflies migrate, caribou, wildebeest, just to name a few of the other animals that migrate to different parts of the world throughout the year. And all of these animals are driven by the same needs of food and mating and rearing of young. So just some general notes on birds in the winter time. A lot of the winter birds that we see in the Okanagan are perching birds. So they're the passeriformes, birds like the chickadees and the nuthatches, the crossbills, finches, the waxwings, some of the introduced species like house sparrows and starlings. We see these birds all throughout the winter. And these birds have three main things to consider in order to survive. And those three things are predators, keeping warm and finding food. So the main predators of a lot of these birds, of course, are birds of prey, the owls and the hawks that are here all winter long and will prey on smaller birds, um, coyotes, wolves, they'll eat birds, of course, and all types of cats, from domestic cats to cougars, will prey on birds. And the most uh, predominant predator of birds at your bird feeder will be the domestic cats, all those neighborhood cats that are preying on the birds at your backyard feeder. So predators and then of course finding food over the winter. These winter birds are eating seeds and berries. They're eating all of these insects that are overwintering. So the dormant insect larvae in trees and in wood um, and then keeping warm. So of course birds, they puff up their feathers and the soft downy feathers underneath help to insulate air and insulate the birds much the same way that a sleeping bag keeps you warm and insulated throughout the night. Some birds like the ptarmigan and the rough grouse have feathers on their legs and their feet to help keep them warm. And birds shiver. They shiver a lot to keep warm throughout the day and throughout the night. And shivering consumes a lot of energy. So a bird um, will be very active during the day, spending most of its waking daylight hours in the winter eating, eating uh, enough to gain up to 7 to 10 percent of its body weight during the day and then it uses those fat reserves uh, to survive the night during the winter and then the next morning starts all over again searching for food to build up its reserve of body fat to survive the cold and chilly nights. So we have of course some familiar birds, the chickadee. We have here The mountain chickadee and you can tell it's the mountain chickadee because it has a white eyebrow over its eye as compared to the black capped chickadee which has a pure black cap on its head and chickadees get their name from the song that they make 
they go, make a kind of a chickadee dee, chickadee dee sound. And they're very active during the day, of course, looking for seed because they need to save up energy to survive the night. So some bird species will build up their fat reserves. Another bird species, um, like the chickadee, will build up a food cache. So they'll store up a reserve of food outside of their body, hiding seeds and insect larvae, insect grub in the crevices of bark and rocks to save those up to eat later on. And then another familiar winter bird is the hairy woodpecker and the downy woodpecker. So woodpeckers are not perching birds, they're not passeriforms, they're in the order of pisiforms, but woodpeckers are a common sight in the winter and we have here on this side the downy woodpecker who looks very very similar to the hairy woodpecker and the main way to tell them apart is that downy woodpecker is a little bit smaller, he has a smaller beak, and the downy woodpecker is more approachable. So he'll be the woodpecker that's hanging around your bird feeder a little bit longer, hanging around on the trees in your backyard a little bit longer, whereas the hairy woodpecker is a little bit more aloof and won't hang around your backyard quite as much. So now we're at Creekside, at the side of Mission Creek in Scenic Canyon Regional Park on the lookout for another winter bird, the American Dipper. So if you happen to be down by the creek and you see a dark gray bird about the size of a robin and it's bobbing up and down near the water, that is an American Dipper and he looks like this. A dark gray bird, nice and plump. You can see he's got a white um, eyelid. If you're lucky enough to see him blink, then you'll know right away it's the dipper because you'll see that flash of white on his eyelid. So the American Dipper is the only truly aquatic song songbird in North America. And they are especially equipped to go diving into the cold, icy water. They eat all of their food under the water, catching aquatic insects. They dive and swim under the water, even walking under the water on the rocks at the bottom of the creek. So they have a nice thick downy layer of feathers. They have scaling nose plugs. They have an inner eyelid to help protect their eye from water. And they have strong uh, claws, strong talons for walking along, strong feet for walking along under the water to swim and catch insects. So that is the American Dipper. And they're really quite well camouflaged. Again, when we're talking about surviving the winter, keeping warm, catching food and evading predators, the dipper is really well camouflaged here next to the water and the gray rocks to hopefully uh, survive the winter without getting eaten by anything else. And a lot of the other winter birds as well will camouflage in the winter by shedding their brown fur, their brown feathers, and growing in a layer of white or mottled white feathers to camouflage with the snow and avoid getting eaten by something like a hawk or an owl or a coyote. And we have some video that we captured earlier this year in the spring of a pair of American Dippers building a nest here on the cliff alongside Mission Creek. So we'll take a quick look at that. Of course, we have all sorts of raptors and birds of prey that overwinter in the Okanagan, like this great horned owl that we found right here on the slope in the park at Scenic Canyon. So he's out here sunning himself, enjoying a little bit of this nice sunny winter day. And great horned owls are one of the winter bird species that will breed in the late winter. So pay attention to the hoots of a great horned owl in the late winter as they are mating and then watch for those great horned owl owlets in about March or April. So just to conclude, we have um, all sorts of birds that overwinter in the Okanagan. Winter can be cold and harsh, yet these winter warrior birds have adapted to survive and thrive. So the next time you're out in the park, maybe even in Scenic Canyon Regional Park, keep an eye out for birds. Maybe you'll spot a chickadee or an American Dipper. And you can check out rdco.com backslash parks for all the info you need to visit parks safely this winter. Thank you and stay tuned for other videos to help you visit parks.